Welcome everyone for another Warframe build video. Today we are taking a look at Rhino, the immovable tank. Rhino charges into the battlefield and stops time with his sheer brute force. Rhino is the guy that you look at and say, hey, can you go check if the coast is clear? You can pick up the Rhino component blueprints from Jackal, the boss of Fossa, Venus. Unfortunately, Rhino Prime is currently vaulted and only available by trading with other players for the parts. Starting off, Rhino's passive ability is called Heavy Landing. If Rhino falls from high enough, he will cause a shockwave when landing similar to the Heavy Impact mod. The shockwave creates a 6 meter AoE effect dealing damage and knocking down enemies. Rhino's first ability is suitably called Rhino Charge. This is where Rhino charges into battle yelling, It's clobbering time! Or something to that effect. At match rank without mods, Rhino Charge will cover a distance of 12 meters at a speed of 48 meters per second. Enemies within 2 meters of Rhino during the charge are dealt 650 impact damage and ragdolled everywhere. Rhino Charge has a combo counter stacking effect where casting the ability again within 1 second of the previous cast will enhance the ability, multiplying damage by 200%, charge range by 125%, and energy cost reduced by 50%. Any successful cast after that will multiply damage by 400%, range by 150%, and reduce energy cost by 75%. Damage is affected by power strength mods. Range mods will affect the charge range and impact radius around Rhino during the charge. Duration mods will not affect speed of the charge, but will affect the combo timer for the sequential cast. Efficiency mods will affect both the standard casting cost as well as the modified combo casting cost. Rhino Charge will have a 100% blast status chance if the second ability Iron Skin is active. Rhino Charge will also deal 100% additional damage to enemies affected by the fourth ability Rhino Stomp. This is a very useful ability for doing speed runs and for getting through laser barriers. The augment Ironclad Charge will temporarily increase Rhino's armor by 50% for 10 seconds per each enemy hit by Rhino Charge. Rhino's second ability, Iron Skin, causes Rhino's skin to harden into a protective shell. At max rank without mods, Iron Skin will have 1200 base health. Rhino's total armor value is multiplied by 250% and added on top of the base health. When activated, Rhino becomes invulnerable for 3 seconds at match rank, during which time all incoming damage is absorbed and converted into additional health for Iron Skin. Iron Skin has no time duration, but ends when the skin's health is depleted. Iron Skin cannot be recast while active. While active, Rhino is immune to damage and status effects, including damage that bypasses shields such as toxin damage. Iron Skin's base health and armor multiplier are affected by your power strength mods. Efficiency mods will of course affect casting cost. However, invulnerability duration is not affected by power duration mods. Some smaller points to note are that you cannot block with a melee weapon while Iron Skin is active. It will show the blocking action being performed, but no damage reduction will occur. Also, Iron Skin will not stop health drain when playing in the Nightmare Mode Vampire Challenge. If you lose support in Survival, Iron Skin will drain immediately and will almost instantly drain again when recast. The Augment Iron Shrapnel allows Iron Skin to be detonated while active, causing 100% of the remaining health as puncture damage and knocking down enemies around Rhino. This augment is the only way you can recast Iron Skin without having to wait for it to be depleted. Rhino's third ability, Roar, is where Rhino stops to sing some Katy Perry during the mission. Actually, Rhino lets out a better roar than Katy does, which provides a damage output buff to Rhino and nearby allies. Roar will affect all allies within 25 meters of Rhino at max rank without mods, providing a 50% damage boost to all sources of damage for a duration of 30 seconds. That is important to note there that this buff boosts damage from both weapons and abilities. 
Understand this is a multiplicative bonus applied to your weapon and Warframe ability damage only. This does not affect the actual ability strength, meaning it won't increase abilities such as Iron Skin. War cannot be recast while active or while Katy Perry is singing her song. The Piercing Roar Augment will cause Roar to affect enemies within its range with a puncture proc. Rhino's last ability is simply called Rhino Stomp. With this ability, we see Rhino rear up and stomp the ground so hard that he slows time. Rhino Stomp will deal 800 blast damage upon cast to enemies in range, and enemies that survive the damage will be seen stuck in the air in a sort of temporal stasis. The blast damage does not bypass obstacles and will diminish with distance. This damage is affected by both your strength mods and body part multipliers. Radius is affected by range mods and stasis duration is affected by duration mods. Rhino Stomp can be recast while active, but enemies already affected by Rhino Stomp will only receive the burst damage, but no change to their stasis timer. Any ragdolling, caused either by ability or weapon, will break the stasis effect. The Reinforcing Stomp Augment causes Rhino Stomp to replenish Iron Skin's health by 80 for each enemy affected by Stomp. Okay, so now let's take a look at my builds. I'm currently running Rhino Prime with 4 Forma for all my builds and unfortunately this is one of those cases where there are numerous different build possibilities for Rhino and I really wish we had more than 3 loadouts we could do for Warframe. That being said, my first build focuses around Rhino Stomp and balancing out what I can with everything else. I have included the Augment Reinforcing Stomp in this so that not only do I provide CC and damage with Rhino Stomp, it also reinforces my Iron Skin allowing me to not have to cast it as often giving me improved survivability. My second build is again focusing on Rhino Stomp but this time strictly in a crowd control aspect. I have improved duration and range with some efficiency while having to sacrifice strength in this build. My third build focuses on a combination of two augments. This build focuses on the use of Ironclad Charge to temporarily increase my armor rating, which then gives me a health boost to my Iron Skin cast. This build also includes the Iron Skin Augment Iron Shrapnel, allowing me to detonate my improved Iron Skin, causing 100% of its remaining health as puncture damage. Because of the focus on the Ironclad Charge Augment and the higher strength for this build, this is a very tanky build, especially if you can hit several enemies with a charge prior to triggering Iron Skin. Now there are other build options out there and you will see many people that have speedrun builds focusing on making Rhino as fast as possible along with maximizing use of Rhino Charge. There will also be many players using Rhino in a buff build, focusing more on Roar as a way to boost their allies' damage output. Okay, now let's talk about synergies with Rhino. There are not really any weapons that particularly synergize well with Rhino other than Ferox. Ferox is a corpus spear weapon that, using the alternate fire mode, it is thrown to the ground generating an electric field pulling enemies towards it. This allows Ferox to synergize extremely well with Rhino Charge by pulling enemies into a tighter group. There are also a few Warframes that synergize well with Rhino, starting with Mag and her Magnetize ability that pulls enemies together similar to Ferox. Rhino's Roar ability is a great synergy with other Warframe damage abilities, such as Saren's Spores or Ember's World on Fire. Overall, Rhino is a very good frame and tends to be a popular frame for lower level players due to his survivability. I don't personally play Rhino as much as I used to, but for a long time Rhino was my preferred Warframe because I just loved watching enemies tumble in the air helplessly. Well that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell to keep up with all my content during the week. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter if that is more of your preference. Don't forget to leave a comment below, let me know what you think about my builds and about the video itself. If you have your own Rhino build that you would like to contribute, go ahead and post it below so other people can see it and try it out and see what they think of it. Well thanks for watching guys, I'm your host Mr. Spicy, and I will see you in the next video.